Hello all and welcome back to another train simulator video. Now we have done quite a few train simulator videos um, recently but it's been fun, it's been great being back on it. Uh, and this is going to be sort of my first look at the five circle line um, but we're just going to be doing a little scenario in the 170. Uh, but this is my first time on the five circle. Hello driver, due to an incident earlier today um, Mark Inch Station has been closed. The only trains going north of Kirkcaldy are the trains to Glenrovs with Thornton, uh, you will be calling at Haymarket, Edinburgh Gateway, Inverkeithling and Kirkcaldy. Now some of the pronunciations, I'm an Englishman, this is Scotland. Uh, yeah, I'll probably screw up some of the pronunciations. Especially also being from the south of England as well. Um, anyway, uh, let's get the doors open. Oh, it's quite loud isn't it? What's the interior like? Is there a passenger view? No, there's not a passenger view in this one, I don't think. But yeah, this is the 170. That is quite loud, isn't it? Awesome, all the trains going off. Yeah, but hopefully you can hear me alright, because it is very loud. Even in the cab, it's really loud, like really loud. Or is that just my headphones being loud? Might be my headphones being quite loud. But yeah, hopefully you can hear me. Uh, but yeah, we're in the 170. I think this has been in the game for quite some time. Obviously, I know it came with the five circle, but I think it has been in the game. Well, I think I've got it on... Um, I think I've got the ones... Yeah, I think I've, I think this came out... It's one of the you know first DLCs in terms of train DLCs. Because I think I have the one where you get all of the livery, Southwest, Southern, all that sort of stuff. Um, so I think this one has been in the game for a fair fair while but still just as good yeah we're just waiting now and then we'll be off cool but yeah thanks all for coming in there must be a passenger view on here mustn't there hey, that's a bit quieter now Kirk Cowdy it says 40 minutes I believe so we're due there yeah in 40 minutes how many miles is it where is it hey, it's 25 miles away. okay so I wonder if we'll be going over the fourth bridge thing. So if we look at the map, it's it's like a bigger loop. I mean, well, it's the five circle. So, but where is the fourth bridge? Is that like here on the straight bit here? Don't know. Right, we are ready to go. Haymarket next. Let's get going. No bed on this one. Right, let's go. Love the sound of the uh, 170 though. Oh, they're all right. They're off as well. Oh, we're racing. I'll see how it is. Let's go. Cool. Just over a mile to Haymarket. Which I think it's like the second second sort of big station in Edinburgh. Come on. Let's get a little bit of speed. I'm racing this one here. There you go, look at that. Brilliant. So we're racing this service to uh to Haymarket. the horn. Cool, into the little tunnel. Although I think I have actually driven this bit before. I remember years ago I played on like my uncle's laptop and I think it was Edinburgh to Glasgow. And I think this bit's actually part of the Edinburgh to Glasgow route, so I've definitely been along this bit. Uh, but obviously not at the five circle, anywhere near there. Cool. Right, where how how many coaches is that? One, two well, that's a full car unit. Was that a 171 then there? Is that a 171? 1, 2, 3. Yeah, 3 on there. And then I'll be able to see. Is that a 171? I think 171s are 3 cars, aren't they? Or is that a 1? Oh, it is a 170. Yeah, not too far to Haymarket. Oh, another one there. You get quite a few trains part of this um, route. You get, um, I think, the Class 68, the 158, the 170. And even the Union of South Africa steam locomotive, you do get a fair bit. I love the sound of that going on. Here we go, big tunnel. Bit of horn action. But yeah, thanks all for coming in. And hopefully you can hear me all well. Let's get that up. Uh, let's put, get that hot on. Don't really like the other one as much. There you go. I still hear the other train on the other side. We are racing it to Haymarket. 
Or was I even going to Haymarket, actually? It's getting quiet. Is that going a different way? Hang on a second. I want to race it. Where's it going? Where are we? I can't know. It is, it is going. It is going to Haymarket. It's going slow. Uh, it is a combined throttle and brake system. Which you don't really get on diesel trains much, do you? There we are treated to that. And here is Haymarket arriving on time, I believe. Well, I think we were due here at 14.07 and it's 14.06. Uh, we are a free car service, so we'll be looking out for the free car stop marker. Let's get this bus, it's all nice and modern. I thought Haymarket was quite an old station, like Edinburgh Waverley, but obviously not, it's quite, uh, quite modern. And here's the stop marker here for free cards. Awesome, yeah, first station stop. I we can get up to 90 in a second, that'll be good. But yeah, the interior of these things are, well, at least the southern ones, they are very much similar to um, to the Electro Stars. Obviously, the southern one is, or the southern Turbo Star is very, are you not stopping? It's very much similar to the 377 interior. I mean, they're practically identical on the inside. Um, but this one's slightly different. It's a nice train, though. I think this is also the same era as the Electro style, so this is the Turbo style. So, Electro, Turbo style, one's electric, one's diesel. But they are, um. I do quite like them. Oh no, what's everything? What do you think of Turbo stars? Obviously, they're literally everywhere, aren't they? Um. Let's get a screenshot. I mean, I know Southern's, well, Southern, yeah, Southern has a few. Obviously, Scott Rail has, I think, the majority of them. Cross Country have some. Uh, yeah, there's quite a few about, and there was more, I think. Now we wait. Right, it'll be Edinburgh Gateway next. That can't be that far away, can it? Yeah, four miles, not that far. Oh, there is a... No, oh, there is a, there is a guard bell on here. Just couldn't do it on the keyboard. Right, let's get going. Look at this. It's brilliant. Off we go. So I'm guessing 380s would run along here. 380s, 385s, all that sort of stuff. Let's go. So I've got up to 90 miles an hour, so it's fairly quick along here. Although I don't, I don't imagine it will be 90 miles an hour for the whole journey, though. It's quite a good-looking route, though. So obviously, the, this is one of the more newer sort of TS routes. So obviously, it does have, it does look better than say um, the old Portsmouth direct line. I mean, it does uh, look good. That's F a bit. Can you see that the Steam notifications coming up? That guy always switches games. Always. I'm sorry, Zeph, for if you're watching. You do love switching your games. Right, Edinburgh Gateway. Must be here, mustn't it? Edinburgh, where's Edinburgh Gateway? Oh, it's here. What's this here then? Some sort of freight area. I see. Probably a park and ride, isn't it? Edinburgh Gateway. Oh, stadium. Oh, I'm guessing that's the. I don't know what football teams are in in Edinburgh because I always used to think Rangers were Edinburgh and Glasgow it was Celtic, but it was only about a year ago I found out that they're both in the same city, aren't they, Rangers and Celtic? But I always thought they were, you know, one was one was in Edinburgh, one was in Glasgow. Don't know what plays here then, or what team it might be rugby maybe. Oh no, it's got to be football, isn't it? The football pitches here. Don't know what team plays there. I'm sure Muzzle will know if he's watching. Lovely. We really good. You can go quick along there, can't you? Yeah, we've got another one circle out whizzing along. Awesome. But you get a fair bit of speed on here. And I will have to go on the class 68 at some point, because that's like, you know, I think the class 68 is an ED, isn't it? 
obviously electric diesel locomotive. Right, let's just coast it. I'm enjoying this, good. So we're not even in the, you know, we're not in the proper countryside yet. We're still sort of coming out of Edinburgh. But soon enough, we'll be up in the mountains. Cool. Let's get a flyby shot. That's a whiz ahead. Oh, that's quite a good place to get a flyby shot as well. Look at that. Awesome. And Edinburgh Gateway is uh, coming up now. Oh, speed it. Whoa, no, 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 don't speed. I wanted to get max points. Well, that's not happening now. And I believe it was um, Joe, I think, yeah, I think Joe Burgess um, did those, uh, did these scenarios. So if Joe is in the chat, say hi. What's that there? That's a 158. Little station before here. We're not, no, we're not stopping this one, are we? Just after this one. Well, it's a mile away. Lovely. And yeah, not far to Edinburgh Gateway, which I'm guessing will be like a really modern station, a park and ride. That's what I'm guessing. Is it a really modern station? It just seems it would be modern. Edinburgh Gateway. Which is like one of the airport places or something. Well, here we are coming into it now. Slowly, but steadily. Let's get that down. So we don't want to enter the platform at 50 because that just wouldn't be a smart idea. We want to enter about 30. Yeah, this does look a really modern station. Yeah, I'm guessing there must be some sort of park and ride here, or even some sort of airport or something here. Busy along here, there's another service there. I oh, know, someone let me know in the comments section, what is at Edinburgh Gateway? Well, so the way it's got gateway and it makes it sound like, you know, it's the sort of... the outskirts of the city, the way in, you know. What's here? Here we are. In fact, let's um, let's fly up. What is what is it? Edinburgh Gateway. Some sort of depot there. I'm not sure what that is. is. That a tram or something? No, I think that is the railway. That can't be the railway. That's got to be. No, I think it is. Is it the airport? I don't know. No, this this must be a tram network. It's got to be trams, isn't it? That can't be standard rail, can it? That's that's got to be a tram network. Yeah, it's got to be. Right, let's get going. Go. Okay. Oh, we didn't do the guard there. It's all good. Right, how many miles to Inverky thing? Seven miles. Let's go. So there's quite a big gap between them. The next state. Well, we're in between this one, but look, we got 15 minutes after that to the next station. To Kirk Cowdy. Let's go. So it should get fairly scenic, and I wonder if we will cross the fourth bridge. So there's Kirk Cowdy there. I feel like the fourth bridge is here. Let's just wait straight this bit here. Yeah, it's got to be there, isn't it? The fourth bridge. I don't think it's along here. Um, oh, another train. Is that another train which just passed us? Not sure. Look at that, though. Brilliant. Let's get a uh, shot of that. Oh, not that. There. Yeah, starting to get into the countryside now. Some sort of... No, there is an airport there, look. Yeah, so, yeah, this must be... Well, that gateway station must have been for Edinburgh Airport, I guess. Which I think I actually have taken off from on a flight sim. Cool. 
Let's have a little look again at the map. I want to see. So I think there's a station on just on the other side of the fourth bridge. Yeah, I think it is. I think this is the fourth bridge here, I think. No, that doesn't say anything. Uh, what's that? Oh, that's Kirk Cal. That's where we're going. Well, once we're there, we can probably fly along. Have a little look. Got along here at a fairly decent speed. In fact, let's get another fly by shot. We are making our way uphill, but also we're heading into the mountains. Let's um let's watch it go kind across of here. Look at that, that's that's good. Yeah, I have been on a one set well one seventy well one seven one slash one seventy. Uh went on it uh, to Ashford before. Ashford um well Brighton Ashford and then back and also along the upfield line, obviously operated by Southern. So I've been on the ones down here. But not anywhere else. So I'm guessing we will be whizzing through a few stations. Is this one coming up here? Some sort of bridge going across? Could be a station coming up. Right, we do need to come down to 80. Let's get that down. There we go, and it comes down to 50 soon as well. Wait, I can see why it's 8. Oh, that does feel a bit quick round there. I see a bridge. There's a bridge coming up. Look, there's a big bridge. Are we coming up to the fourth bridge now? We, can't, we might be coming up to the bridge now, actually. Possibly. I know it does go slow across it. Let's have a look. It might be. It might be the fourth bridge. So it gets exciting now. Let's go down to 50. I think it is, isn't it? Is this the fourth? It is a big bridge. But is it the fourth bridge? It is. Yeah, this is the fourth bridge. Awesome, well here we go. go. Through there. Oh brilliant. It's almost like they slow down on purpose just so you can enjoy the bridge. Oh this is brilliant, look at this going across here. Oh we're now on the bridge. There's that other big bridge, isn't there? Was it the Tay Bridge? No, is it the Tay Bridge? I don't think it's the Tay Bridge. I know there's another... No, it could be the Tay Bridge. I know there's another massive bridge in Scotland. Um, which um, crosses... One of the rivers. I think it's near Dundee. Look at this. It's awesome. And it's, got, it's got that sort of... Iconic structure design, doesn't it? As I say, I haven't really seen another bridge like this in the world. But a proper bit of um, British architecture. Does it really? It does look good, doesn't it? Pretty much every postcard of Scotland, you'll see the fourth bridge in one of them. Very much iconic. And then you get that thing over there. Which I think one of them's the newer bridge. Probably that one there. And then you've got the older road bridge. They, they must make you slow down on purpose to enjoy the scenery. I <laughs> must do. So even a walkway underneath? No, not a walkway. So look at what the rails are actually on. They're not on a lot, are they? Yeah, they're not supported by a lot. Really good though. I mean, just look at the size of the train as opposed to the bridge. It's just massive. And now we're on the other side. Brilliant. Let's try and get a screenshot. That would be pretty good if we could. There we go. So you might see that as the thumbnail, possibly. That was brilliant going across there. Really good. There's a 158 going on, making the passage across. And we're going to a little tunnel. Awesome. Mm. 
All right, through we go. Uh, is this our station coming up? I think it is. Uh, yeah, so that is our station. Oh, we're speeding again. No, it's fine. Train sim, it's fine. <laughs> right, let's get the speed down a little bit more. Go down a fairly steep gradient. As I suppose we sort of get off the bridge back on back to sea level. That was brilliant though, going across there. That was um, stunning. Train, slow down. There we go, down to 40 now. Cool. That comes down as well. Door off, yeah, there we go. Testing the features. <laughs> Is that another railway going under? Yeah, there's another rail. Oh, is that some sort of rail railway there? Very overgrown. Yeah, there is another one there. I wonder where that one goes from then. I'm always interested to see where these other ones go. Rosliff Dockyard. Okay, so it's probably sort of one of those very rarely used freight lines, if not abandoned. Well, it seems someone probably just subscribed whilst we were recording a video, so you probably saw that pop up on the screen. Thanks to whoever it was. Right, are we going to arrive on time? Oh, we drew that at 25 and it's 22 now. And it's actually just round the corner. Lovely. Well, I think this is our station at least. I believe it is. So are we at the loop yet then, or is the loop after? Okay, the loop comes off just after this station. I see. Cool, we'll do the full loop at some point. You'll probably see that on a stream though. We'll go around the full thing. Brilliant. I think that's about an 80 minute service. So it's about, yeah, about an hour and 15, hour 20 to get around the loop. Here is the station. Where is the stop marker? There you are. Just there. Obviously we are free car, but there was no free car stop marker, so we're stuck on the four car. Yeah, looking forward to running a 68 on it. There's an S car stop there as well, but we'll stop it. Here we are. That was awesome, going across there. Across the, the big bridge. Can you see it from here? You can, look. look there it is. Oh, the, the way you can see it still as well. I mean, that really does, you know, sh tell you the scale of it. Where is it? It's, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone now. But you can see the um, other one over there. Just on the other side of the... Uh, Mountain. I could, I could see it. Let's go back. Let's go here. I think it's just out of render distance. Like just. I could see it. Back here. I could see it. Right. Let's go back here. There you go. Like you can still see it from here. Yeah, it really does show you the scale. I mean, if you lived in that house there, you'd see it every day. It really does show you the scale of that bridge. I mean, towering above the hills. I mean, if we go up a little bit here, just like a little tiny bit, you can even still see it. That is brilliant. That is really good. And then you've got that little abandoned line which goes off there. Well, it might not be abandoned, but the Brusov Dock line. That's got to be abandoned, isn't it? Must be. That was awesome coming across there. Really good. you got the new bridge there, I believe that one is. So, yeah, we're in Scotland. Activity rent a car. And what company that's supposed to be? Enterprise. And we've got a 158 um, making its way in. Where's that going? Edinburgh Waverley. So I'm guessing sort of the main traction for slow services is 158s and 170s. The thing is, I do, I do like the the do I do like the 158. It's, it's a nice train. Then the 170 is just more new and spacious. 
Right, I'll be leaving shortly, and then it's 15 minutes to the next station, I believe, which is Kirkaldy, which is 12 miles away. Although we haven't seen a 68 yet, so I wonder if we'll see a 68 on our journey. Let's have a little look. Will we see a 68? Now, where's Kirkaldy? That's our one, I think. Yep. Yeah. Right, let's go. Go full whack. And off we go. I'll watch this going out as well. Because why not? There you go. Does look good though. Cool. Let's get back in, crossing the points. And we can get a bit of speed again in a second. Up to 75. Well, we haven't had much AWS action, have we? Have we even had AWS yet? I think they are automatically on, I believe. I think you come down to here. Yeah, I think they are already on. What are the camera angles? Just them two. Right, joining back up with the uh, sort of triangle. Just a single, I suppose not many services go along that bit. I suppose most services would do the loop and then just go back. Or do any services literally just go round here? That is literally the train life. They just go round the loop. Any services do that? I suppose maybe when there's engineering works on the bridge, they might just go round. Of course, it's fairly quick. been a nice journey so far. So the buttons and bits and bobs here. But yeah, I think this is one of the older trains of TS. I need to do the other one. Don't know. Energy line. Right, Wisdom through a station. Here we go. So yeah, I wonder where the 68 stopped then. I mean, I think realistically you get um, HSTs coming up here, don't you? Well, not anymore, but uh, I think you get, yeah, 800s coming up here. Obviously going up to Inverness and Aberdeen. Which, how far is Aberdeen from? Is it even is it on this route, Aberdeen? Uh, leaving. I don't know. Is Aberdeen on here somewhere? No, I don't think so. So it'd be along here somewhere, wouldn't it? Cool. What time does it say we're going to get there? It says we're going to be getting there at 40. So, yeah, about 10 minutes or so. Oh, God, we're speeding again. Let's get that down. Got a 50 uh, approaching. And a 65 as well. Yeah, very nice. Well, at some point I'll try and pick up some more Scottish routes. Obviously you've got the uh, uh, Edinburgh to Glasgow. Uh, I've already got the West Coast Main Line North, uh, which takes you into Glasgow Central. Um, so yeah, I've got, got a couple at the moment. But at some point I'll try and pick up a few others. Edinburgh, Glasgow, West Highland Main... No, West High... <laughs> Main Line. West Highland Line. Yeah, get a few of these ones. Get down to 50. Another service there. Hello. Free car. It's a bit slow through here, isn't it? I wonder if there's a reason for it. Maybe a little station, junction or something. Well, we slow down to 50. Probably this turn here, isn't it? Around here. Oh, 
coast it for now. Cool. Yeah, probably around here, isn't it? So that's 15 minutes, quite sharp. Oh, probably because the station as well. It's a blind spot, isn't it? Anything was on the track. Back up to 65. And then back up to 75 in a second. Where are we now then? We are... We're here. And we're going up to Kirk County, which is there. So, we're getting there. There's a 75 there, so we'll pretty much leave the throttle on. Don't speed, or all speed, but and get minus two points. Got a 40 coming up. Wow, that's very slow there. I'm guessing um, that's another sharp turn, I guess. There. Oh, we're speeding. Yeah, okay, yeah, minus seven. Yeah, minus seven. Okay, 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 minus 30. Yeah, okay, I see what you're doing. TS is very. It likes, it likes to give you points, but also loves to take away points, more than it takes, well, more than it gives. Yeah, it's, um, hmm. Oh, this is cool, we're going along the river here. Some sort of river, or one of the locks. Yeah, that's awesome. So I think Scotland has got some of the most scenic journeys in the world, hasn't it, by a train? And look at that. I mean, what was it? Oh, the AWS does work on this one. Let's bring that down. I mean, what was it? 20 minutes ago, we were in the middle of Edinburgh. The hustle and bustle, and now we're, you know, across the fourth bridge in the Scottish countryside, passing along a lock or a river, you know, going through a little town. That's just the good thing about, you know, railways, the transition between hustle and bustle and just, you know, going through the countryside. Right, here's a 40. It's quite slow through here. No, we're going on to some sort of bridge, though. Look at this. Going through here. This seems like quite a substantial place. Surprised uh, that we're not stopping here. Seems like quite a sort of big town. Here we go. That looks brilliant, though, doesn't it? I mean, it looks really nice, but then you'd know it would be freezing cold. Well, not that cold, but. Alright, let's go up to 15. Awesome. So yeah, we've got about 6 minutes now until we get to Kirkcaldy, which I'm guessing we're following the coast of this uh, estuary, lock, or one, one of the two. It's even got its own beach. Where have you been today? I've been to the beach. What beach? Oh, the one in Scotland. The one where the lock is, or Big Lake. Very nice. It looks sandy as well. This is really nice though, isn't it, along here? And quick as well. Oh, this looks like a bridge. External camera action. Oh, okay, maybe not. It looks like the br it looked like a bridge. All right, 65, 30 in a second. See this along here sort of reminds you of you know think of when you you know when you think of Dawlish going along the edge of the coast. Reminds you of that, doesn't it? And down to 65. There we go. 
S A W S. I know you want to warn me of a 30 limit. I will get down to 30. Let's bring that down. Quite a bit actually. Lovely. A little bit more. Cool. No whistleboards along here though. Well, I don't think we've had a whistleboard yet. Now for a little tunnel. I'm guessing there'll probably be a station on the other side. So what we're not stopping at. Or maybe not. That's the way that we've slowed right down. No, it's just for this tunnel, maybe, just because it's on a um, sharp turn or something. We have to come down to 30. Okay, well, we're back up to 45 now. I'm back up to 75 in a second. And that looks like a station there. There's probably another reason why you have to slow down quite a bit. 158 there. We're getting that at some point. Do a scenario in it. Yeah, I mean, this is like the Dawlish of Scotland. Like I, I, I tell you what, I said no. It looked like it was right next to the uh, to the water's edge. The very high, the more higher up the Dawlish of uh, of Scotland. But I mean, then that is just beautiful, isn't it? really good. Up to 65. Should probably see Kirk Audi on our distance graph in a second. Probably any second now we'll start seeing the little line. It's going up. 75 coming up as well. Let's see, how many miles is it? It's 2.6 miles, so that's not a lot. Yeah, hopefully everyone has enjoyed the video. Obviously, do leave a thumbs up. Do subscribe if you do want to see more. Obviously, it all does help out. Sixty, get that. And yeah, if you have got any suggestions for routes, slowcos, things we should drive, pop it in the comments below. Obviously, if you're watching on the premiere, don't put it in the chat. So I probably won't see. Well, I won't see that. I will be fast asleep. Um, but yeah, do pop it in the comments what groups you you, know, you might want to see me play on here. And that is the distance graph. Cool. Yeah, at some point I'll get in the uh, 68. And that will be quite fun to drive. Awesome, but has anyone actually been on this line in real life? And is it as stunning as it is in the game? Well, it probably would be, but is it is it stunning? I mean, maybe you even commute into is this some sort of abandoned stuff? I don't know. Maybe even you use this line to commute into Edinburgh. So it's what half an hour, forty minutes. I'm guessing quite a few of these are commuter commuter towns. So I guess here you're probably in between Edinburgh and Aberdeen. I'm guessing. Or is Aberdeen much further up? Bit after 170 home. I can see two church behinds. They're very close to one another. That's one. Oh my god! I can see. Fr I can see three churches. Look, one there, one there, and one there. Oh my god! There's one there. This place is filled with that. One, two, three, four, and then there's five there. Wow, Kirk Cowdy. They love building churches. So many. Well, here we are. This is Kirk Cowdy. I think this is where the scenario ends as well. So 
from a little toot as we come in. That was a nice service. What was that? 40 minutes from Edinburgh. And we're already in, you know, proper Scottish um, countryside. Here we are. Boom. Let's get the doors open. We made it. And I think that is it, actually. Yeah. Uh, arrived on time as well. So we probably got max points for that, but we didn't, unfortunately. But we didn't see a 68, though. I want to see a 68. I'm sure probably in the next one we will. Maybe they're not running today. Well, I think actually that was one or I think that was actually a reason why, I think. Something about the British Transport Police dealing with an incident. So I'm guessing some of the trains are blocked. Kirk out. I mean, does some, did they come here in real life or... Well, obviously they come here. Do they sometimes terminate here? Looks like it. I guess they go into there and then sort of switch back. <clears throat> Seems like quite a major play. Oh my god. Is that even more? One, two, three... Four, five, okay, five still. The signal has instructed you to make, remain at the platform instead of using the loop, just in case the line gets reopened. Oh, that's right, yeah, because it's closed, isn't it? So no other trains could get through. Great work, driver. Cool, there we go. We've got a trophy as well. Tricky business. Um, but yeah, I think that was another scenario by Joe. Awesome scenario, Joe. Uh, obviously, we'll find a link in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal, and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it from me. Thanks all for coming in. Do comment below, do leave a like, do subscribe, and I hopefully we'll see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.